In 1995, Boston was a city searching for answers to an exhausting downward spiral of youth crime, crumbling neighborhoods, and struggling public schools. Former college roommates Eric Schwartz and Ned Reimer had an idea they thought might help. They decided to teach, but not in the usual way. They recruited 20 fifth graders in Dorchester to stay after school. There, Eric taught journalism and Ned taught first aid, but not behind a podium. The kids themselves were the journalists, creating their own newspaper. And the kids became EMTs, racing around the school to teach their classmates how to be prepared for emergencies. Ned and Eric called themselves citizen teachers. The kids loved learning, and the principals of Boston schools saw the difference. Eric and Ned began mobilizing a movement of after-school educators who would inspire apprentices with their real-world expertise. The kids went on to get better grades in high school. Citizen schools grew beyond Boston, built an organization full of social entrepreneurs, and led changes in education policy that are now transforming lives across the country. You may have seen the alarming statistics. Three of every 10 students who start public high school don't graduate. Half of the students who do graduate aren't prepared for college or a middle-class job in the modern economy. The numbers are dramatically worse in our cities and in poor neighborhoods. You may also know that we've had this problem for decades, and we've tried a lot of solutions. But the gap has not closed. In fact, it's barely even moved. We think one reason is that we are stuck inside the box, the box of the traditional school day. When you look at kids who succeed academically, you notice that they're learning in more ways than just the classroom. Their whole communities are involved in teaching them things they need. Not just the facts you can test, but aspirations and inspirations. Schools aren't designed to do this alone. We need to open the box, providing more time for learning, more relevant experiences, and more adult role models. And we need to do it in middle school, when children are becoming adults and are desperate for the chance to try their futures on for size. Citizen Schools teams up with middle schools to expand the learning day. We start with the 80% of children's waking hours spent out of school, time when children keep learning even if we don't keep teaching. In that time, we bring learning to life. To lead the learning, we mobilize a second shift of afternoon educators who integrate with the school and connect to kids' families and the resources of the whole city. Generally four days a week from about 2.30 to 6, the 10 Citizen Schools staff members at each campus gather their 100 apprentices to welcome them. For the rest of the afternoon, every aspect of the time kids spend with our staff and volunteers is designed to foster a culture of achievement. The belief that success is not determined by innate ability, but by the amount and quality of effort students invest. Their first activity every day is an hour of academic coaching, which we call AIM, Aspire, Invest, Make the Grade. Our signature program, Apprenticeships, are hands-on projects with real-world outcomes. These 10-week courses expose students to real experts, volunteer citizen teachers who share the skills embedded in their hobbies, professions, and passions. Law, finance, architecture, web design, you name it. Twice each week, students meet with their citizen teachers to take their apprenticeships. At the end of each semester, apprentices teach back what they've learned and share what they've created with the community in a showcase we call a WOW. We surround apprenticeships with a blend of academic and leadership activities that complete the culture of achievement. And our staff communicates regularly with teachers about class requirements and student progress, and with students' families about how best to support their development. All these activities are more than a nice way to keep kids off the streets. They make a real difference for students, and we hold ourselves accountable for their transformation. Since 2002, Citizen Schools has conducted a longitudinal study of its programs with an external evaluator. Their findings show the difference Citizen Schools is making in the short and long term. We also evaluate ourselves every semester, 
using surveys and school data to track our progress, adjusting our program based on what we learn. The Citizen Schools idea reverberates well beyond the school walls, into the culture of each city and state and ultimately the nation. Our vision is of an America in which schools remain open all afternoon and communities unite around teaching and learning through real-world experience, in which everyone has something to share with young people and children from all walks of life can fulfill their potential. Citizen Schools is working to change the way the country thinks about education. We advocate for a public policy that taps the power of out-of-school time and community engagement to help kids learn. More and more schools are lengthening their day. Expanded learning time requires an expanded workforce, a second shift of educators, serving their communities by teaching. That's where Citizen Schools comes in. Partnerships between schools and quality educational organizations are a vital ingredient for success. Each of us can help make this vision a reality by celebrating the wows happening every afternoon and getting off the sidelines and giving kids something to inspire them. Ask yourself, what will you teach?